The grey-faced Dartmoor is also known as the Improved Dartmoor and descends from the ancient hill sheep that used to graze Dartmoor. In the 19th century, improvements were carried out using other long wool breeds to try and develop and improve the profitability of the breed. The breed is known for being hardy and suited to grazing rougher areas and uplands. Due to their hardiness, they are also able to cope with most weather conditions. The breed is also known for being very placid and easy to bucket train. Their main characteristic is their fleece, which ringlets more than other long wool breeds. Typically, ewes will have twins during lambing season and are attentive mothers. The ewes are also good milkers and a lambing percentage of about 140% can be expected with the heavy milking docile ewes rearing twins quickly. Some clipping around the udder may be required to ensure easy access for the newly born lambs. Traditionally, lambs are shorn before the 1st of July. The breed is polled in both sexes and ewes weigh around 60 to 70 kilograms and tops between 75 to 100 kilograms. There should be a distinctive black or grey speckling around the nose of the breed. The fleece of the grey face is a heavy and versatile fleece which is suited for making carpets and other hard weaving products such as blankets and cloth. The advantages to smallholders for keeping grey-faced Dartmoors is their hardiness on a rougher grazing land and their ability to cope in most weather conditions. Additionally, their docility and general friendliness make them ideal for those looking for a breed that can be easily handled. We like to keep Dartmoors at Doonies mainly because of this friendliness and we find they interact well with us and the general public. We're also able to sell their wool to felters, which is a benefit during shearing season. They're also classified as a minority breed by the Rare Breed Survival Trust, with 1,500 to 3,000 left in the UK, and on a whole, we like to keep rare native breeds at Doonies.